Welcome to Gatri's Cook Spot. I am Gatri Kumar and today I'll show you how to make mozzarella cheese at home. This is a vegetarian version of the cheese as it uses organic vegetable rennet. The ingredients required for the cheese making are given in the description box below. First, to milk add citric acid and mix it well until it dissolves completely you can see that the milk has start started curdling now heat the milk to 88 degree fahrenheit Keep flame medium while heating. This is the organic vegetable runner we are using in this cheese making. This is in liquid form. Mix it with 2 to 3 tablespoons of cold water. And mix well. Once the temperature of the milk comes to 88 degree Fahrenheit add the rennet mixture to the milk and mix it thoroughly the digital thermometer I am using is a must in cheese making because we need the temperature of milk to be accurate keep on heating the milk until it reaches 105 degree Fahrenheit once or twice mix the curd This curd is the result of the rennet we added. As the temperature of the milk increases, you can see that the way becomes clearer. Now transfer the curd to a colander pour the whey over it as there may be some curd left inside it. Do not discard the whey water. Pour it back into the same pan you used to make the cheese. Press the uh, cheese curd until the whey water comes out. Set it aside for 10 to 15 minutes. And try to remove as much as whey water as possible. Add salt to the whey water and keep it aside. Take the curd, cheese curd and slice it into small cubes.
and set this aside. Take one third of the whey water and keep it aside and heat the remaining two thirds to 180 degree Fahrenheit. Pour the hot whey water into a bowl. And take a part of the cheese and let it soak in the hot whey water for at least 5 minutes. You need to maintain the temperature of this whey water so that you can get perfect mozzarella. You can uh, use uh, wear a glove if you can't bear the heat. If the cheese breaks, you need uh, it needs to soak for more time. Test it until it becomes nicely pliable. Now keep on adding. and stretching. Once the cheese becomes cold, you just immerse it again into the hot whey water and then continue the process. The cheese needs to be hot so that it stretches properly. You can also microwave the whole bowl to heat it up. While stretching the cheese, keep the remaining whey water, whey water on the stove and maintain the heat. Once your whey water becomes cold, remove it from the bowl and add the hot whey water. As you can see, the cheese is now smoother and it's, it really stretches well. Once it's nicely smooth, shape it into a ball. Maintaining the hot temperature is really important. Once it is shaped well, place it inside the room temperature way and let it sit for 30 minutes before storing it. You can cling wrap it and refrigerate it for 2 days and use it wherever a recipe asks for mozzarella cheese. These are the pizzas I used the cheese for. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel to get updates. Thank you so much.